Hi everyone, welcome. I am so excited to be here with you and I'm so glad that you are here with me. Normally you will find me on my own YouTube channel, DIY Beauty on Purpose, where I DIY high-end decor all on a budget. And today I can't be more excited to have partnered with a maker studio to bring you a super easy, really cool, very farmhouse style DIY. One of the things that I'm really excited about is that I have never used a Maker Studio supplies before. So when you see me here working on this DIY, it's truly my first time. I haven't even opened the items to feel them, to touch them, to see them, because I wanted to do them all here with you today for the very first time. Before we move on to opening the supplies and showing you what I got and what we have to work with today, I do want to invite you to check out the link down below in the description box where you will find my YouTube channel and hopefully you visit it and hopefully you like what you see. And if you do, I would love for you to join our YouTube family as well. I want to thank a maker studio for having me come into their channel and their platforms and DIY with their products. Now let's get started. I'm going to show you what I got from them, uh, paint and stencils and what we're going to be working with today. And we'll start with the DIY. All right, so first I'm going to show you the mesh stencils that I got, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite songs, one of my favorite scriptures, and I just love it. So I'm going to open it up for the first time ever. And I want to feel how it is. I mean, I just never worked with mesh reusable stencil before and I am just super excited it comes just with this little container and you can just put it right back in here if you need to and so far I really love the way it feels this is so cool it's hard to see the actual mesh you hear that but you can feel it so I'm just gonna peel it off just a bit just to kind of feel Oh, look how cool that is. I'm super excited to try it. It's in really good size also, and it's going to work well, really good with the DIY we're making, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. This one is the same thing. It has some ticking stripes. I'm just thinking that I may add a couple of these, but we're going to open this one also. really good quality products I can tell just by feeling them and then this is the ticking stripe and same thing just really cool mesh and you just feel it how cool that is okay paint wise they send me a couple of things um, they send me these sample containers of the one step paint by Amy Howard at home really beautiful colors one of my favorites like if I were to choose colors that I am going to use all the time and never use any other color these would be the three colors I would use for sure the white is my go-to but green and black for sure so I really love that I have those and then they also sent me it looks like some ink This is the A Maker Studio Art Gel Ink, or not yet, yeah, Gel Art Ink. And it looks like this is in their black. Just kind of like stuck there in the bottom. So, but I want you to see it's just black. And then we also got the white tone. And then it looks like we have some of the squeegees. And this will be what I will use to stencil. And I'm actually quite excited to use these because I've never used anything like this before. I've seen it used it online, just never used it before. I like how this one has kind of like an angle. And then this one is pretty straight. And it just has a really rubbery, almost like an eraser feel to it. And it's going to be nice to be able to remove the, like the X's, um, color so i'm really really excited and that beautiful brush that they sent me really nice long size and then a beautiful tip holy smokes look at that isn't that pretty 
I'm going to show you now what we're going to be actually working with. If you are visiting here today and you are actually someone who has seen my channel or, or is subscribed to my channel, you know that I love working in wood. I love working with scrap pieces of wood and I love reusing old decor that I have not sold or just not using anymore. And this is one of them. I had made a DIY with this and you could tell because it still has glue left over and all this stuff but we'll take care of that in a minute but i just want to show you how cool all this like personality is i love the character of the board it always are it was part of a box that i thrifted it just has all these details that are just i love i just think like these are all were with it like all of these were already with it it has an original nail there it has like watermarks. I just love this. So I had done a different DIY with this. And then today we're going to do something um, similar, but um, using a Maker Studio stencil. So first thing I want to do though, is I want to go in my garage and get two pieces of wood that we are going to attach to the bottom. And we're going to create a base for what will be a decorative tray. All right, so if you are someone who has seen my channel, you know that my garage is always a hot mess, <laughs> but it's filled with tons of goodies when it comes to DIY with tons of pieces of wood. So this is where I keep my scrap pieces of wood. And normally I come out here and, and try to just start thinking. But in this case, we already have a one by two that I have used for another project. And I am going to use to cut two pieces the same width as my board. And this will be what we use on the bottom. I'm going to use my miter saw to make the cuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one by two and I'm going to leave just about maybe a quarter of an inch at the end, a quarter of an inch on this side and a quarter of an inch on that side. So I'm just going to make a small mark here. I'm going to eye it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. So right there. So that's one cut I'm going to make. And then I'm going to use that cut to make, to measure, to make a second cut. And then we'll have another piece for this side. All right. We have the two pieces cut. So I'm going to make sure that they are kind of what I was looking for, which it is. That's going to be perfect. Now I got to remove this leftover glue from my other project. And I think it just comes off with, yeah just a little bit of a tug. And then we're gonna use my electric sander. We're just gonna sand it down a little bit just to smooth it out um, as well as over here. But I don't wanna remove any of this. I wanna keep all that, but um, just gonna sand it down. <laughs> it down really good I can feel the difference already it's just a lot smoother even though you see it it really is very smooth so I'm gonna sand these down a little bit too but I'm gonna use my sanding block because it just has from the cuts it just has those really splintery edges that I don't want to because these are a different color than my board I am going to paint these white. So I'm going to use some of the one step paint that a maker studio sent me. And I'm just going to um, give it a little bit of a shake. And I'm just going to paint them and see if it'll require one or two coats. But Look how beautiful that is. I'm going to use every ounce of it. <laughs> there you go. All right, let me be very careful and move this one out of the way because I do not want any paint on that one. All right. Oh, that is smooth as butter. All right, so I'm just going to paint 
all the sides except the bottom because that's the part that's going to be facing the board. Everything else I want it to look finished and professional because I will be selling this one on my booth and I just want it to look nice and finished. So we're gonna paint. Uh, uh, um, all the sides and then just make sure it's nice and smooth and we'll do the same for this one it's a beautiful color it's called ballet white and it is just so smooth and the coverage is perfection. We're just about done painting it. We're just gonna give a few swipes. All right, we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna put this to the side so that it dries. All right, so we are going to use the Waymaker um, stencil and then I'm going to put some of the white gel art ink right on there. And I'm gonna take my little squeegee and have that available. Now this is completely, let me make sure that I wipe it again. I want to make sure that it is completely dust free from the sanding. Okay. All right. So the stencil should stick. So the plan is to put this one right in the center. We're not going to use this bottom part. We're just going to use this part. We're just going to put it right around the center, just like that. That's so cool. All right. Just going to try to find the center here. And that looks about right. Stick it right there. I love that it sticks and that. It's reusable. I mean, how perfect is that? It's like using a vinyl, but you can use it over and over again. So that's pretty cool. All right. So I'm just gonna use the white for this because I think it's gonna look really nice to have the, the, the white base from the painting that we just did. And then I'm gonna add some handles to it. And I think it's just gonna look really cute with it just being all white. So we're gonna take some paint or some gel ink and we are going to start applying it. I need more. It's so easy. Actually, very satisfying to do it this way. excess and we are now going to remove the stencil oh it is perfection oh my gosh okay seriously I am obsessed okay I just have to take a minute and I am 
beyond excited and obsessed with the crisp detail of the stencil the lines no bleed through and it was extremely easy all right so now that the paint is fully dry i am going to flip it over and we are going to add the base so these are going to go right here and I'm gonna use some wood glue as well as brad nails to attach them so that they are just pretty secure and permanent. And I love using power tools is one of the things that I just love. I, I, in my channel, I mean, there isn't one DIY that I don't think I use some sort of power tool, whether it's my sander, whether it's bread meals, my drill, whatever it may be, I love using them. Okay, so I'm just making sure they're nice and even. And we're just gonna use one inch bread meals. This is a 16 gauge bread nail gun. Okay, and that seems pretty secure. That lifted it up, and I am going to place some felt pads right here so that it doesn't um, scratch off any surface. All right, so on to the handles but before we put handles i'm going to spray it with a top coat i usually have this on hand just so that it seals in the paint and it's not going to come off anytime soon we're going to let that dry and then we are going to put some handles on probably noticed that I'm not going to use the ticking stripe that I thought I would want because I wanted to add maybe one here and one here but with the handles that we're going to add I just feel like it would be too much. I always side on the side of simplicity. So we're just going to add the handles. These handles I get on my Amazon on Amazon, and they are on my, on my Amazon store. So I'm just going to place them right around here. I also want it to be aligned with the base so that if it goes through it's okay. So we're just going to put them right around there. I'm going to measure because I want to make sure that it will be pretty even. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to put it right there. is stunning. And the other two. I am loving it. Look how beautiful this stencil fits right there. It is nice and sealed now. It's a cute little serving tray or a little decorative tray. And it can also be a little sign if you like place it tilted like in a mantle or a console table. I think that would be super cute. Love, love, love it. All right, so we are done with our DIY. I am loving the way it turned out. This stencil is just beautiful. I see myself using this over and over again. And the beauty is I can because it's reusable. So I'm so excited. I may just keep it for a little bit. 
<laughs> and then sell it. I don't know. We'll see. I want to thank a maker studio for partnering with me, for trusting me to bring you a beautiful DIY. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspires you to create your own decor all on a budget and using a maker studio stencils just makes everything so much easier and cleaner. But anyways, Thank you again for watching and I hope I get to see you also on my DIY channel. Again, it's DIY Beauty on Purpose and it is linked down below in the description box. Have a blessed day. I'll see you later. Bye.